So we've got the resin in some warm water. So we're gonna leave that printing overnight. 6.30 in the morning and it is still cold, but let's see how this print has gone. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be covering tips on how to print in cold weather. I live in Sydney and we're heading towards winter and it's getting colder and the temperature is dropping, but I still wanna print minis. So if you don't know, the ideal temperature for printing resin is around 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. And as it gets colder, the resin gets thicker or more viscous and it has trouble flowing well and that can cause some printing failures. So some of these tips, they're very simple. They might require a bit of effort, but very cheap. And with a combination of a few of them, that might be able to help you get your printer and your resin working in that ideal temperature range. However, the last solution I'm gonna show you, I think it's by far the superior one, but it does require you to purchase a few things and set up an enclosure with a heater. The first tip is to print at the warmest time of the day. This might seem like a no brainer, but it, if it hasn't gotten too cold already, this might help you get over the line into that ideal printing temperature. For example, in Sydney, we had a top of 19 degrees with a low of 11. And if I were to print at that high of 19 degrees, it's only a few degrees outside that ideal window which minimizes the potential issues I might have and this only works if the outside temperature affects the space that you're printing in. Secondly which I think is one of the best solutions is putting your resin bottle in a warm water bath. Now I recommend not boiling water straight from the kettle but just getting hot water from the tap and leaving the bottle in there for about 10 minutes. This allows the resin to get warm and once the printing process is underway the resin continues to maintain that temperature as the resin cures from the UV light. That reaction produces heat. Now I think this is a good solution, but I found it quite tedious as every time you want to make a new print, you need to empty the vat back inside the bottle and warm up all the resin again. And knowing my luck, I spilt it every time. If you're enjoying the content, feel free to like the video. And if you want to see more, feel free to hit subscribe. And if there's anything 3D printing miniature or wargaming related that you'd like to see me cover, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best. Tip number three is to have an enclosure. The printing process, as well as the machine itself produces heat and having some sort of enclosure is an easy easy way to keep that heat around the printer rather than it dispersing throughout the space that the printer is in. An easy and more importantly a cheap solution is to just keep the box your printer came in. Once the printing starts chuck the box on top and away you go. Fourthly you can purchase a small 40 to 50 watt heater. I've actually just done that and it's coming in a few weeks. If you're worried about your energy bill standard domestic heaters use about two to two and a half thousand watts so you're going to consume far less power. You'd have to run your little heater for 24 hours before it would use like 1000 watts which would be I don't know 40 50 cents so I gave it a go I only did a combination of putting the resin in a warm water bath and putting an enclosure over the printer it is currently 17 degrees apparently according to the weather app so I'm gonna try my best to see how this print goes and hopefully it stays warm I did this with some puppets war demons as I only had eight models and wanted to get a nice round 10 for two five-man squads once that was done, I finished printing a proxy orc war boss from Puppets War. Unfortunately, uh, there was a fail near the end of the print with one of its arms. Yeah, so it's actually quite hard to tell. Was that a resin fail because it was too cold? Or was that just the support wasn't there on the arm? Because it did just fail on the arm and all the other pieces were fine. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of variables. I can't amount that to the cold. Luckily, I was able to cut the STL and reprint just that arm and attach some green stuff and cover it with a shoulder piece. So it came out nicely. And I'm hoping to paint it in an upcoming video. Now the plan is we're going to print overnight, even though the print's only going to be for a couple of hours. It's currently 13 degrees apparently off my weather app. Um, and I'm not sure how cold it is in the garage, but it feels really cold. So we'll see how this one goes. So we're going to leave that printing overnight. And hopefully when I come back. So we have one support you can see dangling here that's broken off, but I don't think it's stopped it. So every, everything else looks good and it worked fine, no dramas whatsoever. And so I know my temperatures aren't too extreme, only five to 10 degrees from the ideal temperature, and these solutions might not help in extreme colder climates, but they could be worth giving it a go if, you, if you're looking for some options. Uh, the dream solution would be something similar to this guy's setup, I'll put a link in the description below, having a full enclosure with a heater installed inside. This is something I wanna try set up as it means the resin in the vat is also heated so you don't have to keep emptying it and putting the the resin in a warm water bath or anything like that. The Tyranid army is also going well. I've started to put some purple on, but it's taking a while. Take care and we'll see you next Friday for another video. Bye.